All eyes will be on the seven swing states that could decide the 2024 presidential elections as the rage reaches its final hours. In the race for the White House, the pattern of voting is not the same in all the states. While some states reliably vote for one party or the other, there are a handful of states that are up for grabs, states where both the Democrats and the Republicans have a shot at winning. These are known as the swing states and in 2024, they could make all the difference. Let's take a closer look at the seven key swing states to watch in the upcoming presidential election. Recent polling across Georgia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Nevada and Arizona shows tight races across the election's battlegrounds. First up is Arizona. The Grand Canyon state was once such a Republican stronghold that from 1952 to 2016, only a single Democratic nominee won. President Bill Clinton in 1996 re-election. In the New York Times Siena College polls, Trump came up to 49% while Harris was at 45%. The Emerson College Hill polls found Trump at 40% and Harris at 48%. If you look at the past presidential results, in 2016, Trump beat Clinton by 3.5% and in the 2020 elections, Biden beat Trump by 0.2%. Next comes Georgia with 16 electoral votes. In the long-time Republican state, the NY Times polls show Harris at 48% while Trump is at 47%. The Emerson College polls, on the other hand, show Trump at 50% and Harris at 49%. When we look at the past results, in 2016, Trump beat Hillary by 5.1% margin. In 2020, Biden beat Trump 49.5% to 49.3% which is just a 0.2% margin again. Now we look at Michigan. Michigan has gone for both parties in the two most recent presidential races. The Times polls found that both Harris and Trump tied at 47%, while the Emerson College polls show Harris at 50% and Trump at 48%. In the past election results, we see that in 2016, Trump beat Clinton by just a 0.2% margin and in 2020, Biden beat Trump by 2.8% margin. Now comes Nevada. Republicans have not flipped the state of Nevada in the last four presidential cycles. Here, Harris is at 49% and Trump is at 46% in the NY Times polls. Harris and Trump are tied at 48% in the Emerson College polls. Nevada has sided with the Democrats the previous two times. In 2016, Clinton beat Trump by a 2.4% margin and in 2020, Biden beat Trump by the same 2.4%. When we look at North Carolina, it has been a source of enduring frustration for Democrats. However, recent cycles indicate that the state could be trending away from the Republican Party and might be on its way to becoming a true purple state. The Times polls show Harris leading with 48% and Trump close below at 46%. The Emerson College polls show Trump leading with 49% and Harris at 48%. 2016 saw North Carolina back Trump by 3.7% and in 2022, it favoured Trump by 1.4%. Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes, hold the largest number of electoral college votes among the seven battleground states expected to decide the election, making it a critical focal point in the final push for votes. In the NY Times Siena College polls, Harris and Trump are tied at 48%, while the Emerson College polls show Trump at 49% and Harris at 48%. Trump beat Clinton by 0.7% in 2016 and Biden beat Trump by 1.2% in 2020 in Pennsylvania. Signs point to the Democrats netting Wisconsin's 10 electoral votes in 2024. The state which has flipped between both parties in recent cycles show Harris leading with 49% in both Emerson College and the NY Times polls, while Trump is at 49% and 47% respectively. In 2016, Trump beat Clinton by 1.8% and in 2020, Biden beat Trump by 0.7%. With close margins and shifting demographics, these states hold the key to victory for both candidates. So if you are watching the elections unfold, keep an eye on these battlegrounds. In a race this close, every vote counts.